in today's video we will be learning about the earth's atmosphere now before we learn about the atmosphere in detail we know that there are five major elements that make life possible they are space earth fire water and air but we shall be learning only one of these elements that is air this air is sometimes also referred to as atmosphere in simple words okay now the meaning of atmosphere what is atmosphere in simple words atmosphere is nothing but gases that surround the earth or in other words it's nothing but a thin layer of gas which surrounds the earth now let me put that in a pictorial form and this is how it would look now if you look at the size of the earth and the size of the atmosphere the atmosphere is quite thin the approximate thickness of the atmosphere is about 1600 kilometers now what keeps this atmosphere or this thin layer intact around the earth here the earth's gravity comes into picture the earth's gravity is so strong and so tremendous that it doesn't allow these atmospheric gases to escape into space but rather holds it intact around it now unlike earth's moon it hardly has any atmosphere it's because the gravity of the moon is very weak okay now we know the meaning of atmosphere we know what holds the atmosphere intact now we should know what are the major components of the atmosphere or what the atmosphere is made up of now atmosphere is largely obviously made up of different types of gases the major ones being nitrogen which makes up about 78% of the atmosphere followed by oxygen which takes up about 21% of the chunk in the atmosphere and the remaining 1% is taken up by some inert gases like uh, hydrogen helium carbon dioxide etc besides these gases there are also other particles suspended in the air like salt particles dust particles ash smoke pollen grains etc and they all have their own individual role to play in the environment now moving on to the most significant part of the topic atmosphere that is the uh, structure of the atmosphere okay now here i've drawn a diagram to show you clearly how atmosphere diagrammatically would look like now have a look here have a glance here this is the earth and this is how the atmosphere actually looks like now you can clearly see that i've made some divisions here now our atmosphere is not uniform throughout the density is not same everywhere the temperature conditions are not uniform everywhere the characteristics vary at every level that's why based on these differences atmosphere is divided into various layers now to put that into perspective imagine a pie a pie is made up of a layer of cake maybe topped with a layer of pudding or custard and above that lies some icing or cream same thing in the atmosphere one layer rests above the other okay so we'll begin with the lowermost layer that is known as the troposphere the first layer of the atmosphere is known as the troposphere and the thickness of this layer varies between 8 kilometers to 18 kilometers now this is the layer in which we all live and all the other living beings thrive in the troposphere and all the major action takes place in this layer all the weather phenomena occurs in this layer say formation of clouds rainfall occurrence of the water cycle thundering lightning movement of wind breeze everything is confined in the troposphere and that is why this layer is very turbulent and unstable make a note of one thing that in this layer with increasing height temperature goes on decreasing yeah in this layer as the height increases the temperature goes on decreasing now that is again because of the earth's gravity the earth's gravity it's so prominent that it pulls the earth's atmosphere towards it and all the major atmospheric gases all the major atmospheric gases they concentrated in the lower levels of the troposphere so as you go higher 
the air is more scarce and sparse and that is why the heat absorbed is also very less as compared to the lower parts of the atmosphere where the heat absorbed is more. Moving on, the next layer that rests above troposphere is the stratosphere. The thickness of this layer varies between 18 kilometers to 50 kilometers and this is the layer which contains the ozone. As we all know, ozone is the layer which protects us from the harmful ultraviolet or UV rays. Now, the lower part of this layer is very peaceful and calm and that is why jet aircrafts or airlines, they prefer flying in the lower part of the stratosphere, slightly above the troposphere. As I said previously, troposphere is very turbulent. Aircrafts prefer flying in the lower part of the stratosphere. Now, in this layer, with increasing height, temperature also goes on increasing. That's again because all the UV rays are absorbed here. The temperature is also quite high. Now, the third layer above stratosphere is the mesosphere. Mesosphere rests above the stratosphere and the thickness varies between 50 kilometers to 80 kilometers. Now, this is again a very important layer because this layer protects us or shields the earth from the meteorites or meteors. Now we know what meteorites are. They are nothing but space rocks which wander about in the outer space. Sometimes when they try to enter the earth's atmosphere, they get completely burned up or they get completely vaporized in the mesosphere. Sometimes they appear as streaks of white light in the night sky and we call them shooting stars or falling stars, but they are actually meteorites being vaporized. Now, in this layer again, with increasing height, temperature goes on decreasing. So it's similar like troposphere. Here also temperature goes on decreasing with height. In mesosphere again, with increasing height, temperature goes on decreasing. This is actually the coldest layer in the atmosphere and the recorded temperatures like are about minus 100 degrees Celsius. Then moving on, the next layer that rests above mesosphere is the thermosphere. Yeah, and the thickness of this layer varies between 80 kilometers to 400 kilometers. And this is the layer where all the amazing things happen. The lower part of the troposphere is sometimes also referred to as ionosphere because it contains ions or electrically charged particles. And that's why all our major entertainment, communication satellites are positioned in the thermosphere which contains these ions or electrically charged particles. So this is the layer which helps us on the earth for long distance communication. Besides this important role played by the thermosphere, another important phenomena, another magnificent phenomena occurs in the thermosphere that is the auroras. We know that auroras are different streaks of lights which appear in the sky around the North Pole and the South Pole. This happens when the solar winds from the sun interact with these ions in the thermosphere and they give out different colors. It's quite amazing. Then, now we move on and we come to the last layer of the atmosphere that is the exosphere. Now there is no clear cut boundary as to where exosphere ends or where it ceases to exist. It slowly readily merges with the outer space and it hardly has any gases there. Only lighter gases and that too few traces of hydrogen and helium are found in the exosphere. And this is the hottest layer in the atmosphere. The temperature recorded here is about 4000 to 4500 kilometer uh, degree Celsius, which is very close to the surface temperature of the sun. So as you have seen, every layer has its own unique role to play and they are distinct from one another.